He could pull this off without his partner. Where is Phil? You didn't hear? Phil ran away with his wife. They were fooling around behind his back for years. That putz didn't even know about it. <laughs> uh, my understanding was it was only the last two years. Really? Where'd you hear that? I'm the putz. <laughs> Love the show. Thanks. Excuse me a moment. All I can get is synthetic. It's down in here, I'm trying to run a business. A synthetic, you mean like polyester? Now that would be perfect if I was making dresses for your mother. Dennis. I'm sorry. No silk, no dress, no sale. I can't get silk jersey. You better get silk jersey. That's what we're selling out there. Dudley, get your daughter off my back. Samantha, darling, managing people sometimes requires a little finesse. Seymour, you bloody pain in the ass! If you don't get Silk Jersey, I don't have a business. And if I don't have a business, you have nowhere to go to get away from your wife. And I've seen your wife. <laughs> then you know how hard I've been looking for Silk Jersey. We should have never tried to put on a full line without Phil. We don't need Phil. My father and I can handle this just fine without Phil. Can we go back to work and stop talking about Phil? All right. Headache. No, fortunately, it's just a massive cerebral hemorrhage. <laughs> what is it? Unresolved problems with your mother? Can't get Streisand tickets? Lost your buns of steel workout tape? Oh, I'm sorry, those are my problems. Look, Dudley, I know there's nothing I'm gonna say that's gonna make a gnat or... What's his name? Come back. Why don't you forget about what you've lost and concentrate on all you have? Thanks, Dennis. Sure. <laughs> Dudley Walker. Yeah? You see these cakes? These are wedding cakes, my cakes. Your daughter Amy cannot make up her mind which cake to order, so you gotta order the cake now, today. I see, and you are... The cake man. Who the hell you think I am? Who? Dennis? <laughs> oh, you look fabulous. Oh, please. I'm retaining water like a camel. You? I'm holding more water than Shelly Winters in the Poseidon Adventure. <laughs> Jeez, I thought the parade was in the spring. Good news, I can get the cotton jersey. But no, cotton's gonna budget the waist. He's right, don't get the cotton. You want bells or dubs? We're very busy. Let Amy pick out her own wedding cake. I let Amy pick out her husband. Look what happened. <laughs> the cake. Had time to mull it over? Okay, I want five tears, four doves, three bells, and two little plastic people on top. <laughs> Preferably a man and a woman. Interesting twist. Bullocks wants the line in petite. Oh my <laughs> god, petite! We've gone petite. Let heaven and nature sing. Don't forget dinner. My place. Dad, how many women do you have to go out with before you feel like you've evened the score with mom? Samantha, darling, um. I get lonely sometimes, and I just need a little companionship, that's all. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. You're right. So, how many women will it take? <laughs> all of them. The Royal Dalton or the Wedgwood? What do you think? I think they're plates, Amy. You spent less time picking out your husband. <laughs> Do I seem a little obsessed about this wedding? Yes. Can we talk about something else? No. Because I'm getting married. <laughs> so who are you going to bring? Who do I always bring? Right. I'll put you down for no one. <laughs> and I will seat you right next to Mom. Who's Mom? Our mom, she's coming. No. Sam, look, we knew that we were going to have to deal with this eventually. 
I know, I know, but come on, Aim. Dad is just getting his life back together. I, I cannot let you give him this kind of news. You're right. I know I am. That's why you have to tell him. What, me? <laughs> hey, I already gave him bad news. I told him I was marrying Lenny. It's your turn. Oh, since when do we take turns? You know, if we took turns every once in a while, I'd be his favorite. Well, I'm not his favorite. Hey, guys. Phoebe's, Phoebe's his favorite. favorite. Hi, Phoebe. You're just in time. You bring the food? Yeah, Chinese. Hi, Scar. Bye, Scar. We'd invite you in, really, but, you know, it's a chick thing. We're gonna talk cramps. It's, it's like an all-cramp night. It's a cramp -arama. Bye, Scar. Okay, Phoebe, let's see. We have mushu pork, ribs, and fried dumplings. Don't you eat anything green? Gum. <laughs> okay, now, Phoebe, we need you to do us a favor. Okay. Don't you want to know what it is first? No. Phoebe, we need you to break the news to Dad that Mom's coming to the wedding. Okay. Aren't you at all surprised by this? No, she's our mom. Oh, you think it'll be weird because she ran away with Uncle Phil. <laughs> okay, now, Phoebe, he might not take the news well. That's why we want you to tell him, because you have the talent for breaking bad news. I do? You do. And here's a tip. Tell him something really horrible. Like what? Like, you're pregnant. OK. okay. <laughs> tell him you're kidding. Then tell him the bad news. OK. Scar. Uh, I'm sorry to disturb that cramp thing, but um, my, my hair's been caught in the door for the last five minutes. For my shirt, too sexy. Uh, Morning, Pop. Where were you all night? Oh, I, 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 uh, I was up with a sick friend. How is he? Not very well. I may have to go back tonight. Oh, Dad, before I go, Samantha and Amy asked me to tell you something. Well, uh, what is it? Well, Mom's coming to Amy's wedding. What? You see, I told you because I have a talent for breaking bad news. <laughs> I almost forgot. I'm pregnant. Okay, bye. And so he says to me, Lenny, I know what I'm doing, but remember, the only thing I hired this guy to do was to adjust the glasses. I grind all the prescriptions. Lenny, uh, could you pick up the pace of this story a, a tad? I, I... <laughs> I fear I'm about to have an out-of-body experience. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, so he's in the other room, and he yells, but the plastic won't bend. So I said, of course not. The sand isn't even hot yet. <laughs> Maybe it would be better if I told it differently. Uh, like if you were in flames? <laughs> But, you know, optometry is not all jokes and fun. Mm. Sometimes it can get dull. It's hard to believe. Hon, Dennis is ready to fit you for your tux. Oh, would you excuse me? Oh, uh, I've got it. Okay. Hey, Seymour. Seymour, let me help you. No! What is it? Nordstrom just doubled their order. And? We don't have enough silk jersey to do a double order. We don't have enough silk jersey to make a thong. Dad, he's impossible. <laughs> Dad, I need to talk to you about the wedding. What is it, sweetheart? You want to call the whole thing off? Daddy, I love Lenny, and I want to spend the rest of my life with him. <laughs> Dear God, haven't you heard his hot sand story? Yes. Isn't that funny? No. He's going to bore the pants off you, darling. I've got news for you, Dad. He's already done that, and he does it very well. I could have gone my entire life without hearing that piece of information. Did Phoebe talk to you this morning about Mom? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dad, I would have told you, but I just... I didn't want to hurt you. I know. I know that, and I love you for it. But in the future, 
I'd really appreciate it if you have any gut-wrenching news. Tell me yourself. All right. Okay. I have some upsetting news for you. <laughs> Darling, my, my business is going down the tubes. I'm giving my daughter away in a week, and my ex-wife is coming to the wedding. <laughs> if you think you can upset me now, take your best shot. Mom's bringing Uncle Phil to the wedding. <laughs> Jolly good shot. <laughs> What do you think? Oh, Dennis, I think it's beautiful. Uh, uh, are you sure my dad's going to be okay with this? Oh, absolutely. Listen, your father just wants you to be happy. And if wearing your mom's wedding dress makes you happy, then he's happy. <laughs> Don't worry, that was just the initial shock. <laughs> God, of all the wedding dresses in the world, you had to pick that one. Dad, listen, Grandma got married in this, and then Mom, and now me. And if I have a daughter, maybe someday she'll wear it too. I don't understand it. I mean, I, I didn't say to my father, I'm getting married. It would mean a lot to me if I can wear your pants. <laughs> Okay, Dad, if it bothers you that much, I won't wear it. I'll get a new one. Thank you, because you have no idea how many painful memories will surface if I saw you walking down the aisle in that dress. A new dress will run you at least five grand. There's a veil that goes with that, isn't there? <laughs> hey. Hi. You okay? Yes, I'm bloody marvelous. You don't look so good. Maybe you should see a doctor. I did. He said, uh, whatever should be soft is hardening, and whatever should be hard is softening. <laughs> hey, Dudley. Remember when I said if you can't get the material here by Tuesday, we're all out of work? Yeah. You want to play golf next Wednesday? <laughs> Since when did we have so much trouble getting material from suppliers? Since always. I thought you were going to call DeLuca. He's one of our biggest suppliers. DeLuca's orders are backed up. He can't get to us for months. Carmine DeLuca, please. You know what your problem is, Seymour? You don't know what to say to him. I don't know what to say to him. I've been talking to Carmine DeLuca for 25 years. Carmine. Yeah. I'm your hung I bet you wouldn't have said that. <laughs> That's Korean for goodbye, DeLuca. From now on, we'll be buying all of our materials from Korea. Yeah, this is Samantha Walker, Dudley's daughter. And you know what? We're sick of doing business with you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what time do you like to tee off? Get it here by Tuesday morning. Monday's fine. Thank you, Carmine. You got your material. Oh, did I hear a thank you? No, you just heard the you part. <laughs> that was extraordinary. I've never seen you like that. Yeah, you never seen me like that, Dad, or you've just never seen me. I don't understand. Why are you upset? Because I was in the middle, Dad. I'm the middle daughter. I I'm always upset. I have to be louder. I have to be better. I have to be smarter. I have to run faster. I have to jump higher. Oh, please don't cry. I hate it when you cry. What can Daddy do for his middle little girl? <laughs> I want to be Uncle Phil. <laughs> You can't be Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil is uh, sleeping with your mother. Oh, Dad, let me help you. You can't do everything yourself. Make, make me your partner. Darling, I don't think you're ready for that yet. I can do it, Dad. I've been working here since I was in high school. You know, all that time when you were on the road selling, I was here, Dad. I was here watching Uncle Phil. And you didn't notice anything either, huh? Um, I'm sorry. I guess I brought this up at a bad time, huh? Um, you know Mom's bringing Phil? Yes, I've heard. Dad, promise me you're not going to cause a scene at the wedding. Of course I'm not going to cause a scene at the wedding. Okay, good. I'm going to cause a scene at the reception. <laughs> A 
Are we wearing the same dress? <laughs> of course we are. Yeah, well, don't stand next to me. Okay. Wait until you see your sister. She's devastating. I thought you two were wearing the same dress. Shut up, Dennis. Oh, get a sense of humor. I'm going out to cry. So beautiful, doesn't she? It's the same damn dress, all right? Okay. Uh, supermodel Angela. Um, these are my daughters. Daughters, this is supermodel Angela. She's a supermodel. That's why I call her supermodel Angela. We're his daughters, and that's why he calls us daughters. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, don't stand next to me. You okay, Dad? Yep. I've decided that uh, what is really important is your happiness, my happiness, and supermodel Angela's happiness. <laughs> and nothing and no one is going to spoil this day. Hello. Um, Scar, are you aware of the fact that you have no shirt? Oh, I have a shirt. I just didn't wear it. <laughs> so I, I thought this makes much more of a statement. <laughs> oh. Not many people could pull that off. <laughs> oh, wow, Phoebe. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Scar, perhaps you could, um... Uh, show supermodel Angela to her seat. Um, put her next to my ex-wife. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, darling, if you could find a shirt for Scar, that would be a real thrill. Samantha... Consider it done. Well. We're only moments away from being related. <laughs> Just gets better and better. <laughs> Look, I'm trying my best to please you. Look, Lenny, it's not you. I mean, Amy is my firstborn. She's very special to me. And uh, no man is ever going to be good enough for her. But I'm sure you have good qualities. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just uh, came in here to tell you that your ex-wife and Phil are here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it'd be great if you sat next to him at the reception. Hmm. It'll give you a chance to talk. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, uh, be sure to tell him the hot sand story. <laughs> Is he gone? No, no, God knows I've tried. Dad, I want you to know how much I appreciate your being here. You know, with Mom... Oh, and... stop. It's your day, not mine. <laughs> God, you look beautiful. I remember the very first time I ever set my eyes on you. Huh. You filled my heart with such joy. <laughs> you had this mass of black hair, your eyes were swollen shut, and your nose pushed in. You looked like Roberto Duran after the no-mass fight. <laughs> and even then, I thought to myself, my God, I love boxing. <laughs> Almost as much as I love you. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Mom. Oh, look at you. Oh. Oh. Hi, Dudley. Hello, Annette. Uh, how are you? How's my car? <laughs> Hello, Dudley. Oh. oh. But I think they're getting, getting ready to start, dear. Uh, Amy, um... Would you mind if the two of us had a moment alone? Of course, Phil. We can wait in here. Sure. Uh, no, I meant Phil. I want to talk to Phil. Okay. 
Come on, Mom. I can feel just as uncomfortable with you. <laughs> so, I guess you're still mad, huh? Why should I be mad? Oh, right, you ruined my life. Um, <laughs> you know, Phil, Annette and I didn't have a perfect marriage. Uh, probably I had a lot to do with that. <sighs> Losing her hurt. Losing her to you broke my heart. We were more than business partners, Phil. I mean, we, we were best friends. We were like brothers. Dudley, I don't know how it happened. We, we just fell in love. Huh. You're an adult. You know you can't control these things. That's what being an adult means, Phil controlling these things. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. That's not good enough, Phil. Oh, okay. Nobody's dead. That's good. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's a little boutonniere for your bootin'. <laughs> so how's business? Uh, you doing okay on your own? Yeah, uh, actually, as a matter of fact, I'm doing fine. Uh, and I'm not on my own. I have my daughter, Samantha. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I've decided to make her my partner. You mean that? Yes. <laughs> Is everything okay in here? Uh, yeah, well, it's oh. just like Christmas morning. <laughs> Can we get on with this? I've been out there so long, supermodel Angela's starting to look good to me. <laughs> Come on, we'll go find our seats. Uh, Phil. I'll, uh, see you at the reception. <laughs> you handled that with dignity, Dad. Mm. Have I mentioned that I love you all very much? Mm -mm. Ah. Amy, you look too beautiful to be staying in here. Hmm. Shall we? God, I hate that song. <laughs> Okay, I'd like to dedicate this next song to two very special people. Phoebe's sister and, uh, the glasses guy. <laughs> Here comes the bride, all dressed in white. <laughs> mm -hmm. 